Hello, everybody. This is Greg Stump here on Powder TV. In the October edition of Powder, there's a great little article on Scott Schmidt, the clothing designer, and that iconic steep tech suit that he built for North Face. I had a chance to sit down with Scott and ask him a few questions about his life as a ski clothing designer as opposed to an extreme skier. Most people don't know that you are in a very accomplished, uh, what do you call it, a tailor or a seamster? Uh, <laughs> What? <laughs> did, did you used to travel around with, uh, somebody told me you used to travel with a serger and a sewing machine. No, never traveled with a sewing machine, but I did do a lot of hand stitching, you know, because back in the day, a lot of that, a lot of the ski suits didn't have the stuff I needed. And I was always stitching things together, you know, fixing my packs and, you know, fixing my pockets and, uh, you know, just making them more, uh, more, more usable. For the North Face. Yeah, I would take a North Face suit and, uh, you know, I had specific things I would carry every day into the mountains and I like to have them placed where I want them and the pockets were never where I wanted them. So what I would do is I'd modify a pocket or section off a pocket or, um, you know, stitch on some webbing so I can clip something on or um, just various things to make it work a little better for me. And, um, and that's when I approached the North Face to design a ski mountaineering system, a suit that would, that would work for us. And uh, that's, that was the, the birth of Steep Tech. Yeah, Steep Tech, uh, Steep Tech went for about seven years. Um, it was a little frustrating process because we could never get it quite right because of the timelines and this and that. And there's a few pieces that I wasn't happy with, but there's a few pieces that worked. Um, it died for about three years, but there were so many dealers back east that, that demanded it to come back that North Face was basically forced to start remaking it. The yellow and black suit was sort of your signature North Face, uh, North Face thing. And did you modify that suit? The uh, the yellow and black Steep Tech suit was pretty much my my original design, and that was based on a lot of the modifications I made earlier on some of those extreme gear suits. And it 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 functioned well. The pockets were perfect. The vents were great. Um, you know, there's some politics with the fabrics and things I didn't like. Uh, you know, it, was, it, it, it never really was truly what I wanted it to be, but it was close. Now, now Tom Young's just stepped up and handed me a question. Uh, is it true that the Steep Tech suits had a condom, uh, a, a, what is it, a, a condom leash? A condom leash. <laughs> is, 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 is that true? Oh, you know, what we did have is I was the first guy to ever integrate a chamois into the pocket. Now, I think that was on a leash. Um, we had tethered earplugs into the collar, so when you're working around helicopters and stuff, you could do that. Um, but yeah, condom leashes, no. To learn more about the behind the scenes story of Schmidt's steep tech suit, pick up the October issue of Powder Magazine on newsstands today. I'm Greg Stump for Powder TV. To order DVDs, posters, stickers, t-shirts of my vintage movies like Blizzard of Oz, License to Thrill, Maltese Flamingo, or to get a copy of my critically acclaimed new film Legend of Oz, go to blizzardsnowstore.com. That's blizzardsnowstore.com.